Hello, welcome to my easy statistics. Recently, I did a video on composite reliability. And I got a comment on this video. Is the reliability you calculated the same as a Cronbach Alpha? If not, what is the difference? So in this video, I'm going to discuss the same point. Is there any difference between composite reliability and Cronbach Alpha? And in what conditions we'll be using Cronbach Alpha and in what conditions we'll be using composite reliability? Actually, Cronbach Alpha and composite reliability both are used to test the internal consistency of the variables in the component. But Cronbach Alpha is used when we are doing EFA, that is exploratory factor analysis and composite reliability is used when we are doing CFA that is confirmatory factor analysis. Both are used to test internal consistency of the variables in a particular component but the conditions under which we are doing this test are different. Like I said CFA when you are doing CFA we will be doing composite reliability. But when we are doing EFA, that is exploratory factor analysis, we will be using Cronbach Alpha. Okay, I'm taking an example of customer satisfaction. And in this customer satisfaction example, I have total nine variables. So first I'm going to do CFA and calculate composite reliability. And later, I'm going to do EFA, exploratory factor analysis, and calculate Cronbach Alpha. And let us see what is the difference between composite reliability and Cronbach Alpha. So let's start. So first, I'm going to do confirmatory factor analysis. So I'm using AMO software, where already this model is pre-existing. I have three components are the perceived quality, customer satisfaction, customer expectation. So perceived quality is having three variables loading on it and customer satisfaction is having two variables and customer expectation is having four variables. So this is CFA, confirmatory factor analysis. We can run the model. Okay. And check the output we can see the model fit and we can see the estimations in estimations so uh, we will be taking this standardized regression weights where we call loadings and using this loadings we will be calculating composite reliability actually I have already did this video and I'm keeping the link in the description you can check that one I already calculated composite reliability for each individual component for perceived quality I have calculated customer satisfaction and the customer expectation and uh, these are the calculation part of composite reliability and for perceived quality uh, we got 0 0.858 and for customer satisfaction the composite reliability is 0 0.788 and for customer expectation uh, the composite reliability is 0 0.854. The condition is that the composite reliability must be greater than 0 0.7. Then only we say the items or the variables are having internal consistency with the indicator variables. So now the all the values what I got these values are more than 0 0.7. So we have required composite reliability. Now I'm going to do EFA that is exploratory factor analysis. I'm using the same file customer satisfaction and I have a nine variables are there with uh, 201 respondents data. First I'll do I'll be doing factor analysis and later I'll do Cronbach Alpha. Right. I'm using SPSS software for doing this both fact analysis and Cronbach Alpha. Now first let me do fact analysis. I'm starting with analyze 
dimension reduction okay so transfer required variables into this location and description I have selected KMO and extraction if you want scree plot you can select it and the rotation select very max rotation and uh, loading plots and options uh, I'm saying suppress small coefficients which are below 0 0.5 I already did one video on factor analysis and I'm keeping the link in the description you can check that one how to do this factor analysis if required click OK now let us see the basic things here KMO value is more than 0 0.7 it is 0 0.828 this is good uh, let's see the total variance explained it is 0 it is 75.42 it is above 70 percent this is also good I got required total variance explained 75.42 and see three components the uh, total nine variables are grouped into three components the first component I have customer expectation and all the values are more than 0 0.5 and second component is perceived quality this also good and third component is CS that is customer satisfaction so in exploratory factor analysis after doing factor analysis the nine variables are grouped into three components so for each component now I'm going to do cron back alpha let's start that analyze scale reliability First I take CS1 and CS2 because they are formed as a group and in statistics scale if item deleted okay now let me check okay the Cronback Alpha for customer satisfaction CS1 and CS2 is 0 0.770 the Cronback Alpha must be more than 0 0.7 so I got required reliability now in the same way I do for the next component analysis scale reliability analysis and statistics now you can see here the reliability statistics gone back alpha for perceived quality for perceived quality PQ1 PQ2 PQ3 it is 0 0.858 which is more than 0 0.7 okay let's do for the third component scale reliability okay now here you can see it is cron back alpha is 0 0.851 which is more than 0 0.7 so for the three variables three components I got cron back alpha which is more than 0 0.7 and you can even check this cronback alpha if item deleted so we we actually must not get any value which is which is more than 0 0.854 if, if you get any value which is more than 0 0.851 then we need to delete that item we need to delete that item but we got all the values which are less than 0 0.851 so we got required cronback alpha now let us discuss both composed reliability and cronback alpha together these values are composed reliability values and these values are cronback alpha values you can observe that the perceived quality customer satisfaction and customer expectation are having required reliability when you did with composed reliability test or cronback alpha test both are having in both cases we are having more than 0 0.7 and the difference is also very less that is for perceived quality it is 0 0.001 and for customer satisfaction it is 0 0.019 and for customer expectation it is 0 0.003 so we can conclude that if a factor is having composed reliability then it will also have required Cronback alpha also and if it is not having required composite reliability then back alpha also we are not getting more than 0 0.7 then what is the main difference is 
the way we are using that is if you are doing CFA do composite reliability if you are doing EFA expiratory factor analysis then use Cronbach alpha I think the concept is clear thank you